Big moment in the club's history. We're announcing our 10th captain. Um, got the whole staff and players down here to uh, acknowledge Shannon Hearn as our new captain for 2015. All right. <laughs> It's a, it's a privilege, so it's, um, you know, it's, it's a short history in the in club, but I think it's uh, uh, such a great, great honour for the people that have been, been a part of it and uh, people involved in the club. Um, so, you know, we still want to be successful. I think we will be, so it's just a great honour and um, I think we've got a great bunch of players, players here at the club, so it'd be fantastic to lead them. To be fair to, fair to say, once you started doing it, you really enjoy it when you got a chance to, to fill the role? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, like Simo said, it's been a progression over the over the years as we uh, have a few plans in place in general. But towards the, uh, the middle of the year, we rotated it. Uh, it felt comfortable, but I think everyone did a pretty good job as well. And the number one thing is to s still keep performing well. Before that, did you consider yourself leadership material? Before that little experimentation? Ah, uh, probably uh, three or four years ago. I think initially, when when you first come into the club. Um, you want to establish yourself as a player, and then hopefully once you get that under control, then you start trying to help other players to become better. And I think we've been able to do that probably the last three or four years. And uh, yes, last year there was a time where I thought, yeah, I really want to do this. What kind of captain do you want to be? Yeah. Uh, hopefully a premiership one, would be nice. <laughs> and uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a hard one to answer. Because, well, so you answered it very well. Yeah, because... Um, it's such a hard thing because you, you have to deal with a lot of things. Um, I'd like to think that um, you know we have a pretty good voice and pretty good feel for the playing group, and we can have a good discussion with um, the coaches and uh, help everyone to get better. Um, but at the end of the day, I think it's still in your performances. Who did you go to when you when you thought you'd seek out the leadership? What, who did you go to to talk about your ambitions? Uh, so, uh, th like, who did I want to talk to? Or yeah, who did you talk to? Maybe even outside the club when you were thinking about becoming captain. Oh. Uh, um, there's a few people that I get on quite well with through, through the club, um, but I uh, get on quite well uh, with, yeah, like I have a good relationship with, with my dad, um, so I run a few things by him and there's a few other people, a couple of teammates and um, others that I like to bounce things off of, yeah. What about Glassy? What did you get out of him that made him such a great leader and how much would you take on board from your predecessor? Uh, Glassy was fantastic and uh, I was lucky enough to have, I suppose, Cuzzy for a year and a bit, and also um, Chris Judd, and you, you pick up different things from them. But the main thing that they they did was set a good example, and uh, they used a bit of common sense, and that's just the thing that I really enjoyed from those players. Um, they kept it simple, and that's basically, I think, all you can do. It's, you've been selected because they want you to be exactly who you are, but do you think yeah. you'll change much? Is there anything about the way you go about things that you'll need to change? Uh, I don't think so. I hope not. Um, still continue to grow as a person and grow in the role. And I suppose it's just having a good relationship with all, with all players, with all staff. Um, you know, making sure we're helping each other achieve what we want to do, which is win a premiership, and just making sure that we're improving, setting the standards and getting, getting everyone better and getting the best out of themselves. Is that one of your biggest challenges? To, you've got a group that are ready to to be in that, in that mix now to, yep. to guide them through and stuff? Yeah, it'll be a, um, <clears throat> it'll be a whole group thing with, with, the, with the senior leadership group and the senior players, even blokes outside of that. But it's everyone being accountable for each other. So um, I've mentioned it before, I think we've got a lot of good talent, uh, which every AFL team does, but it's about what you do with it and how you train and how you work together game day. So I think that's our biggest development point, but there's signs uh, late last year and also what we've been doing in the pre-season. So. You're going to have a new nickname or sticking with Bunger? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll leave it with Bunger, I think. So uh, Lek is here today, so I said, mate, I know you've got a boat, but there might be two, two skippers on the boat now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as, a, as a young fellow, I really just I enjoyed um, well, playing football and playing cricket and... Um, I didn't quite imagine it, no. So, um, it just I always wanted to get the uh, best out of myself, I suppose, early on. And then, as I spoke before, then it's realising, well, if you want to be a successful team, you have to be able to help others. Um, and it's a, it's a, it's a, 
uh, a whole group, whole group thing. There's no one individual doing their own thing. It's helping everyone. So, um, yeah, I didn't. Yeah, you know, it's one of the things that's too hard to predict, but it's turned out really well, and yeah, it's really honoured. Well, towards the end of last year, when they were thinking about a new captain, your name was really the one that was coming out from within the club, and people were outside and <coughs> didn't expect it. Yeah. Um, how does that feel to have that kind of support from everyone around you? Oh, look, having support from your uh, well, family and friends and the footy club is always, is always great. And, um, yes, there's always things that can be, can be written about you or said about you, but the main, the main thing is being true to yourself, um, listening to the people around you. Um, so it felt really, really uh, well, great, um, but it's just important that, you know, you don't get caught up in the hype because when you're going well, it's, it's all good, but sometimes when it's going bad, it's not that bad either. So it's just having a good balance with that. Did you expect to get it? Uh, well, I don't, don't really expect anything, really. Um, it would have been nice, but at the same time, I think Scotty Sell would, would have done a do good job. So can Joshy Kennedy, Matty Prittis, Eric McKenzie. We've probably got five blokes that could do a really good job. And I think that'll be the key thing to us uh, as a senior leadership group is working together. I think we cover all bases. Like, everyone's got a strength, which we can cover. Um, yeah. What does a good captain need to do? Uh, well, I think they uh, will perform well and probably set a good standard. And also, uh, being a guide um, players in general. So that's with the footy field and what they're doing off the field. You know, we've got 40 um, players on the list, different personalities, different, different ways of going about things. So it's just um, about being open and having them, you know, be able to have a discussion with them. But number one, you've got, to be, you've got to be able to perform that. Oh, yeah, certainly, yes. Obviously, his development's been greater than one year. It, um, and when we, uh, when we lost Glassy halfway through last year, we had a, a rotation policy, and all of them stood up really well. And uh, to be honest, it was, um, it was a pretty close battle because they all performed really well, and it's the number one quality you look for is performance. And uh, we got a player vote at the end of the season and combined that with the, with the board and the executives, and it, it was... Uh, uh, a clear winner in the end.